a lot of people advocate for teaching uh, financial literacy, how to write a checkbook, how to balance your checkbook in your school, and a bunch of other practical things. What I'm advocating is that we should teach basic laws about driver's licensing. And obviously, this doesn't need to happen only in the United States, because we're about to watch a video out of Australia with a free traveler, right to travel, sovereign citizen who gives the business to the police and ends up in handcuffs. Thank you for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, check out my other channel, Joe the Lawyer, where I, where I will be giving out free legal advice. The link is in the description below. Before we watch this video and hang around after the video to watch my funny and interesting commentary, raise your cup, your glass in the air, you know it. The same time sip, it tastes better when we sip together. I like Diet Coke. Most of you like beer. I know my viewers are alcoholics. There's nothing wrong with that. Cheers with me. All right, let's watch this video. <laughs> okay. Do you have your license on you? No. Okay. What's your name then? I'm obliged to give you my name. I'm obliged to answer any of your questions. Okay, so my name is Constable Ryan Parmenter. I've observed that you have been driving on a road in Queensland. I okay. been driving on the road. I observed you drive down the main street and you have driven this vehicle here to the school. Well, I'm not driving, I am travelling. Okay, you are driving by my definition, and I now require you to state your full name and address. I warn you that it's an offence if you fail to comply with my requirement, and you may be arrested for that offence. Do you understand that? No, I okay. understand. I'm giving you a further reasonable opportunity to comply with my requirement, or you'll be arrested for contravening that requirement. You know you're not even a real cop. I am a real cop. Corporate thug, you know that vehicle you're driving right there is a commercial vehicle. Okay. Are you going to give me your name? Now, I'm giving you a reasonable opportunity. If you're licensed, I don't have an issue with it. I just want to know your name. Because I, I believe that this car's unregistered. Because there's no plates on it. That's alright. Because you just took them off. That's why. Just because a vehicle has plates on it doesn't mean it's you registered. Just because a, a car doesn't have plates doesn't mean it's not registered. That's true. But you haven't given me any evidence to say that it is registered. I've just given you evidence there. This is not evidence. This is an email. Your refusal is... answer enough for me. Okay. I don't have to give you anything else. I'm not going to give you... You have to give me your name. No, I don't have to give you my I've name. given you a legal requirement to give I you my... I know my rights. I know my rights. No. You clearly don't in this instance, because police have the power to require your name and address. You don't have the power to do anything. I do have the power to require your name and address. I've yeah, given I'm you a legal this. requirement. And if you don't want to be arrested today... The right to refuse and incriminate oneself. Okay, I have no right to... I know I'll... my rights. Mate. Okay, mate, you're under arrest at this point for failing to... Like I'm to contravening a requirement by a police officer, and we'll, you're under arrest, and we're going to establish your identity, okay? I'd like to see your supervising officer. All right, jump out of the car. No, I'm not getting out of the car. Hey, let me go. Let me fucking go. I haven't done anything. Seatbelt off, mate. No. Listen, what have I done? You're under arrest. What have I done? What have I fucking done? Failed to comply with our direction. You are now under arrest. Fuck, what have I done? Nothing. Out. You hold on. I'm fucking right, locked right, in the fucking seatbelt. Can't. Undo it then. What the fuck is your problem? Yeah. Fuck is your fucking problem? What You're the fuck arrest. is your problem? You're under arrest. Hey, I want not resisting. You are. Fucking don't. I can fucking do it myself, you quick. Put your hands behind your back. I'm breaking my wrist, you can't. Put your hands behind your back. Breaking your fucking wrist. I will put my hands behind my fucking back. Well, then do it. Fuck, Wait. go. Do it. Let me
Herkese. Do you understand what you're under arrest for this time? No, I don't. Okay, do you want me to... I haven't to... Harm, injured or fucking caused any harm to any cat, so to ex... I ain't fucking under arrest for to, nothing. Do you want me to explain it to you? You want me to explain something to you? No, no, I asked you a question. You've made, made an unlawful mate, arrest. I'm trying to be polite to you. We've made a lawful arrest. You've made an unlawful arrest. I've made a lawful arrest. requirement for you to state your... I haven't fucking caused a fucking crime, have I? I haven't... Listen, committed mate. any fucking crimes. We're trying I? to be nice and polite to you now, okay? And explain to you well, why you're under arrest. Now that you fucking got me in handcuffs. We want you to understand why you're under arrest. I want you to understand that I don't give a fuck what you say. Okay. So you don't you don't want to be explained to as to why you're, you're under arrest at this point. You fucking just handcuffed me in front of my fucking daughter, cunt. <sighs> mate. In front of the fucking school. I gave you a requirement to state your name and Who address. Who the fuck are you, cunt? We just wanted to, uh, we wanted to see your vehicle's you're registered. You're fucking stupid. And we wanted to see your driver's license. You failed to comply with my requirements. Well, I don't need a fucking license to fucking travel. And you're under arrest, okay? Cut. Yeah, you do to drive on a road. No, I don't. So, this gentleman starts off right on the wrong foot by saying he doesn't have a license. He admits to the police openly that he doesn't have his license. Then they ask him what his name is. He appears to be pulled over. He's driving a truck, okay? And we're watching the officer's body cam. They ask him what his name is. He says... I'm not obligated to give you my name, all right? And they identify themselves as being in uh, Queensland. So this is Australia, like I've said many times, the sovereign citizen, the sovereign citizen ideology is a pandemic. It's just like COVID-19. It's everywhere. It's everywhere on the planet. Then he comes out with one of the classics, one of the best. You know it. We love it. He's not driving. He's traveling. He says he's not driving. He's traveling. I wonder, what's the basis in Australian law for this? Do they still cite United States Supreme Court cases in Australia? <laughs> or do they have their own Australian nonsense cases to cite? To funny. At one point he says he doesn't understand. I believe that's correct. I mean, that's the one point he's being honest when the police are talking to him. When he says he doesn't understand, he clearly doesn't understand the law and the rules. Okay. Then the police ask him why he doesn't have any plates. And I kind of thought this was sort of funny. Goes, no plates because you guys took them off. Yeah. So obviously not his first rodeo then he says he has evidence and i just love i love when the sovereign citizens free travelers do this the cop says this isn't evidence this is an email and he's standing there with a piece of paper it's an email so this guy's driving around probably with an email to the department of transportation that he's going to use in case he gets pulled over guess what buddy and that that doesn't cut it that doesn't cut it just too funny Stick this piece of paper in my glove compartment. When the police pull me over, I'll give them an email. It'll be fine. It'll all be fine. You know, if he wasn't such a, a jag, he wouldn't have ended up in handcuffs. So it escalates. He says, I'm not giving my name. I'm not giving my name. We've talked about this many times before. There are stop and ID laws, even some states in the U.S., but I'm sure in Australia, you probably are required to give your name, uh, especially when you're driving. Doesn't give his name, boom. Gives them reasonable suspicion or probable cause to effect an arrest. Then it clearly appears that he's resisting, won't get out of the car, waving this and that. Um, the funniest part about this, which separates it from some of the other videos, is when in, during the struggle, the officer's uh, body cam falls off. Who would have known it would fall and it would be laying face up so we can get a direct view from the ground uh, to finish off the arrest. <laughs> Too funny. The police go, they take him, put him in the car. The, the officer comes back over, puts his body cam back on, and then goes over to chat with this guy to give us a nice close. 
um, a, ni a nice finish to the story here. He says he still doesn't understand why he's under arrest. The police say we're being nice and polite. And he goes, now that you have me under arrest. And he starts flipping out, dropping F-bombs because it was in front of a school Apparently a school where his daughter goes. Very sad and kind of embarrassing. So I see where you're coming from. But man, like, don't break the law. Don't break the law. What we need, what we need is to teach basic driving laws. I've actually been an advocate of this in schools or education system. We should learn simple criminal laws, simple driving laws, simple like parking ticket laws, so that people understand it. Like the criminal law, you know, is is just taken for granted by the the courts and the legislators. Well, so a lot of people generally don't know all the laws and then they pick up this nonsense along the way, all right? And, and it leads to issues like this. Let's start educating people about the criminal laws. I mean, even in grade school, I think that's a good idea. At least driver's licensing law. Um, too funny, a classic right to travel, my absolute favorite. I don't know what the Australian uh, the Australian justification for the right to travel is in Pennsylvania or in Pennsylvania. In the United States, we got Supreme Court cases that mention the right to travel, and that gives the sovereign citizens all they need. Thank you for tuning in, Joe Palmetto. This is the Common Sense Academy. If you like my content, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Sign up for my other channel, Joe the Lawyer. It is in the description below. Also, buy my book. Buy my book. Here it is. There is a link to the book on Sovereign Citizens. Get it for Christmas. Buy it for someone you know who you think would find it funny. That's also in the description below. Peace out, my friends.